And the reason being is because I, I really know this to be true. People underestimate the time that it's actually going to take to get there. Don't do all that dating of six now. Get one, build, because you'll get to where you want to faster as far as being rich and fit, actually becoming who I envision I'm going to become. One thing I knew is I was going to have to kill the old person. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, July 21st, 2024. It is 7.17 in the morning. And right now, I am racing to get today's video up by eight o'clock. The good thing is it's complete, it's exported, and I just have to upload it to, to YouTube. So whether I do two videos sometimes or whether I do one video for sure on my daily, I've been trying to get these complete in the, in the latter of the evening and then uploaded for 8 a.m. Um, premiere on YouTube. So last night, man, I had a, I had a kind of a full day yesterday. Last night I went out to this, this club called Taboo. Uh, my homeboy, King LJ, uh, just came back to Cartagena, so he brought a couple friends, and um, yeah, uh, it was it was cool. It was cool. Um, but I have mixed feelings about the you know I have mixed feelings about because I met a girl. And the energy was just not right from the beginning. I'm talking about like from the initial encounter. And it wasn't like, I'm like, hey, yo, you know, I'm really not trying to meet any new people, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not trying to meet any new friends as guys. I'm not trying to meet any girls right now. I'm trying to stay on what I'm doing on a consistent level every single day. Um, I'm trying to protect my frequency, you know. Uh, because it like, last night was just the clubs and all of that, it's just, it's so crazy when you're when you're at a different point in your life and you realize like how low vibrational things like that can be and also how detrimental that can be to what you're actually doing. And low vibrational conversations, low frequency encounters And it's like, I don't want to stay in this bubble. You understand? Like, I don't want to stay in this bubble. But how do you align with the people that are aligning on the same frequency and have the same outlooks? Not the same, but it's maybe similar. I need to think more. <laughs> I need to think more. It's still early. Is this age? What is this? What's what's happening to me? What's happening to me? Is this growth? One thing I knew is that in order to get where I envision to go and building all dreams and building myself and becoming, actually becoming who I envision I'm going to become. One thing I knew is I was going to have to 
kill the old person. I knew that. And I'm starting to believe that I have killed the old person. But it seems like the old person wants to arise. Just different now. And I've been different, but I'm becoming somebody else. Part five is becoming the hero. Is that what's happening? Wow. This isn't really impromptu. I'm really talking to myself and asking myself, is that, is that really what's happening? Am I becoming the hero? Is this the stage? And I believe it is when I think about it. So I have no time. I have no time to spend time with anyone that will not be with me in the future. I want to play basketball today. So it is 10.47 a.m. I came down here, like I said, 7 something in the morning, 7.17. So I get um, upload that episode for today. But man, I was tired and I had to go back up and finish getting my rest. Uh, I don't drink much at all. So last night, it's not like I was like, like hung over or anything like that. I just had a couple beers. Um, but I can only imagine, you know, like I've done this, I've done this shit before where you know, you're doing something and then, um, uh, you get sidetracked, mess around, go get drunk, mess around, spend too much time with a girl, it just messes up your whole your whole routine of what you was doing. Uh, and that's where like discipline comes in. And I'm not trying to seem like yo, like I'm definitely I'm not a saint at all for sure. You know I didn't did it all, like for real. I, I didn't did it all. Um. Except for drugs, I don't do drugs. But um, as far as like like women, you know, I've, you know I've had plenty of women uh, party with the best, the, you know, did great parties, and um, it's all fun. It's, it's intoxicating, right? <laughs> you know. Last night, you know, I'm looking at this, you know, I'm looking at this place, I'm like, man, damn, look at this. Oh, this is not a gringo place either. You know, it was a uh, uh mostly local for, for locals or whatever. And I swear so many people get wrapped up in that life. And I just would say, like, me personally being you know a basketball player like the discipline that you had to have as a student athlete in division one it was paramount especially when you have bigger goals than just to be a college basketball player like i always had professional aspirations so it just wasn't like all right well i'm just going to try to coast through college like and just have my fun when I can. It was still being in the gym. It was if we went out, I had a day or so something to recover. It was putting in work when everybody wasn't. And ultimately, I did become a professional basketball player. Not for long. But I did achieve that, that goal. Like I did fulfill that mission. 
And for young, for young guys in their twenties, if I if I was just to go all the way back, I would do it a little bit different. Um, because young guys think guys my age are old, but really, to be one hundred percent honest. I don't feel much different than when I was 25. But, but the experience and the knowledge that I have just completely obliterates a 25, even 35, even a 40 year old. Just a, you know, it just, it's just paramount to, 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 to what they know and what they've experienced. So if I'm going back with everything I know, I know that it's going to be very fast to get from here to here, and then before you know it, you're here at my age, 44. Hopefully you still have your health. Hopefully you still look good, right? Hopefully you've learned. But the 25 year old, I'm saying like, yo, don't do all that dating and fucking with all these chicks now. Get one, build, because you'll get to where you want to faster as far as being rich and fit, because that's the, that's the goal. You need to be rich and fit, <laughs> like seriously. Then you have way more options. Sprinkle when you're young, you don't know, you really don't know about impact, but maybe sprinkle some impact in there but then go after the things that you really want to do. Don't chase money. Because then by the time you get to my age, right? You're coasting. You're on a, you're on a, you're on a, a cruise control thing. And the thing about it is, at my age, you're still dealing with the same women 25 year old dealing with. So you might as well dial in. That's why I like, that's why I like startup guys, you know? Like those guys that start startups early and then exit and they like, yo, I got a pile of cash. <laughs> right? That's why I like those guys. Probably get them a wife. Do you know, do that. By the time they're my age, they got a pile of cash. Anyways, I got work to do. <laughs>
whether it doesn't matter your age, really. I mean, look, Colonel Sanders started KFC in like his 60s, right? Uh, Ray Kroc started McDonald's in his 50s, okay? So it doesn't matter the age, but I think people underestimate the time and the work that is going to get there and the grit that is going to take to get there. And think of what you think is going to be and think that it's going to be 10 times harder and 10 times longer. So if I say, look, I think I can get all dreams to this point in five years, think double. Right? I think I can get it sold and acquired. I can think I can exit out of all dreams at such and such multiple in five years. But really in the back of my mind, knowing business and knowing everything that can go wrong, it's really 10 years. So 44, I'm dialed in to this platform and this startup for 10 years. I'm ready for a 10 year run, but I'm also ready for a 20 year run, if need be. So many different things can happen in between that time, okay? But my mind is already preparing for a long, a long run, a long game. And with this society now, people don't even look at like, what's the long game? I want shit now. You might as well go ahead and prepare for the long game. When you prepare for a marathon, you ain't running sprints. You get it? And people, like I said, just underestimate the time, the, the time that it's going to get there. And they say, hey, I'm 22, I have time. You don't. Oh, I'm 30. I have time. You don't. And I think the only, one of the only things that people think about is, okay, if I measure up with my peers, so if I have a house, I have a car, I have this, I have that, then I'm doing okay. But this is not for you, this is for the outlier. Doesn't give a fuck about that. Anybody can obtain those things, right? This is for the outlier. This is hell. you know what? This shit might take 20 years. <laughs> can I outlast everybody? I think it's easy. Cause everybody worried about now. So no, he's like, this is easy. Everyone, they want short term validation. So gearing up for the marathon, as Nipsey would say, it's easy. Do you have experience that can add value?